Hi, Duny Nistas, it's me, the Pecan Tan Beauty, and this is just a follow-up on my Storage Saturday video from about a week or so ago. So if you have not checked out that video, where have you been? I will leave a link below so you can check out part one of my Storage Saturday. And this video is to just finish it off. So let's go inside. Okay guys, as you can see, I have been extremely busy. So in my last video, I mentioned that I was going to retag bags from one of my closets. So I pulled out my collection from one of my storage closets and I just threw them here in my bathroom just for the sake of keeping them out of the way. And so I removed all the tags from the ones that I had on prior. Some did not have tags because they had torn off since I did this project about seven years ago. So I went through and I pulled out my bags. I took photos of each bag and I put it on kind of like a color-coded background. And I also conditioned any bag that I thought may have needed some conditioning from being stored. Some of these I have not carried in years, but I do take them out to do some of the bag care items that I mentioned in my first video. So I will link that below so you can see what I talked about. So let's just take a look at a couple of them. This here, as you can see, is my Florentine leather zip sack in the color natural. And I printed it on a somewhat color coordinated background so it'll stand out to me. And then on the back, I just kind of did a little sticker and put the name of the bag as well as the color. And let's see, another one here is my Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Domed Buckle Satchel in the color teal. And then I put that here on the back. And then here are some of the others. That's my Red Kingston. That is my Orange Clayton. This is my Pebbled Leather Small Satchel in the color Mustard. This one is my zip sack in the color light taupe. This is a domed satchel in the pebbled leather black. This is a Tilton in the color chestnut. And as you can see here, this tag is orange. It may come off as red, but it's orange. And I have the background orange, so I won't get it confused. And again, I just have my Kingston in the color orange. I have a chestnut Buckley, a chestnut Kingston, a domed buckle satchel in natural. I have a Buckley in red and so on. As you can see, let's just take a quick look. You guys have been asking for a collection video and this is about as close as it's gonna get for me this is my violet kingston as you can see i labeled it violet kingston here is a crimson satchel this is my violet clayton this is my timoro I'm sorry, crimson, see small crimson satchel. That's why I like to put the tags on the back. And then here is my beautiful Florentine Smith in the color natural. And there's a red Clayton. There is a chestnut satchel, a salmon don't buckle satchel. Violet Bristol, Kingston Hobo and Natural. And then here is my prize bag, which is my Depenta in the color Brown Tomorrow. 
And on the back of this one, I put Florentine Depenta, Rare Bag, Exclusive, Brown Timoro. I also put these on here, guys, for my family. If something were to happen to me and they did not know what to do with all these bags, they would have some idea of the names, the colors, and if it was a rare bag or um, you know, anything special like that. And also in the pockets of most of my bags, I have the original invoice or I have made a note as to the price that I paid for them or the price that I purchased it for if I picked it up like on the second hand market. So I think that's a good idea. It sounds crazy but I think that it is a good idea to be able to have that type of information. And then this was my bag from Peter Dooney. This is the Florentine leather drawstring. And as you can see, it has these beautiful entwined colored draw. It's brown, tomorrow, and natural, beautiful. And I just put on the back Florentine's drawstring gift from Peter Dooney in the color natural. So, and I just put this on kind of like a little fun background so it stands out. So anyway, guys, this is just a quick sneak peek of the tags that I created from one of the closets. I have two more to go. Um, this was definitely a project, but I think that it is worth it for whenever you are trying to find a bag. And if you have a larger collection, it just makes things so much easier. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to check out part one if you have not done so already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.